In this review we're looking at two Caterpillar motor graders from Diecast Masters. Model 85519 is the 12M3 and Model 85521 is the larger 18M3. Cranes Etc has made over a thousand reviews and reports so if you like what we do please support us and help us continue by making a pledge via Patreon. The link is on the screen and in the video description. And in return for your support you can get various rewards including news, early access, discounts and other benefits. And know that your support will keep us going. Both of these models now come in the usual high quality Diecast Masters packaging. Let's select the larger 18M3 grader and open up the packaging. Once you get past the outer shipping container there's a nice nylon bag and that provides protection for the tin box that's inside. These tins are very nice because they're well made and they've got pin sharp printing. And that includes having some details of the real machine on the back. And here we see that the tin for the smaller grader follows exactly the same standard. So back to the 18M3 tin and off with the lid. This model is slightly different because there's a plastic former at the top. But it's also similar to other Diecast Masters models because there's a little brochure describing the product range. After lifting out the plastic former we can reach in and carefully lift out the model to make sure we don't damage anything. And there's no assembly to do on these models because they are complete. Out of the tin. We will start with the smaller 12M3 and there's some detail on the underneath. At the front there are decent tyres mounted on plastic wheels and there are work lights on the frame. At the back the ripper is quite thickly painted but at least the rivet heads are also painted. On the body there are metal grab rails and the grills are formed by graphics. Inside the cab is the usual operator and he wears sunglasses come rain or shine. The detailing of the circle and the mould board looks busy with all the hydraulic hoses. And overall on the model there's quite a few plastic pieces including the lights and the mud guards. The cab steps and also the mirrors. And also the rear mud guards are plastic with the grab rails being metal. The larger 18M3 is similarly detailed underneath. But the tread pattern on the tyres is much stronger. At the front there's a nicely detailed pusher plate. And various work lights add to the realistic look. A high point of the detailing is the fire suppression equipment at the back. And if we look at the pivot point the steering pistons are there. But there are no hydraulic hoses crossing. And yes there he is again the operator sitting patiently waiting for action. And while he waits we look at the business end of things. And again there's plenty of hydraulic hoses at the circle and mould board. Taking a walk around the big 18M3 and most of the handrails are metal except those at the back which are soft plastic. The grab rails are metal and the roof of the cab is plastic. As are the mirrors and the various work lights. We will start small on the cranes etc test track and the 12M3 rolls nice and smoothly. And each of the wheels rolls independently. When it comes to steering it's quite severely restricted at the pivot point. And that also continues at the front end where the steering is again similarly restricted. So it seems quite a bit less manoeuvrable than a real grader. There is plenty of tilt on the front axle but you can't lean the wheels. Moving to the back the ripper works well. And if you extend it fully downwards the rear wheels are off the ground. So you could use the model to rip your name into the desktop. The flexibility of the grader blade is modelled well, it rotates fully on the circle. And you can raise it up and down and get a bit of an angle on it too. And you can also shift the blade left and right. However on the review model that was extremely stiff. The other thing you can also do is to tilt the blade forward and that works well. Let's step up now to the larger 18M3. And it proves itself to be a very willing runner in a straight line. Once again all of the wheels turn independently. And there's a nice feature at the back which is the oscillating wheel pairs. So the model's good for working in a bumpy display case. 
Let's look at the steering and the front axle has got better movement than its smaller brother. And again there's also a good angle of tilt. But although the mechanism is there for leaning the wheels, that doesn't really work on the model. The other part of the steering is across the pivot point, and you can get a moderate angle both ways. If you set the steering fully, you can go round a reasonable curve. Moving to the back, the 18M3 also has a good ripper, and it's stiff enough to be able to gouge out your finest mahogany surface. There's another small feature which is that the access ladder on both sides folds up and down. Moving to the circle and it's just as functional as its little brother. And the mouldboard is slightly smoother in action. You can raise it and lower it and it also tilts forward. And with a bit of persuasion you might get it to a sideways tilt. Both of these models are very nicely packaged, and they also score well in terms of the detailing. The 12M3 is a decent model in terms of its functionality, and overall the 18M3 is the slightly better model. But if you want a motor grader model, they are both very good.